welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we shall work with our great leader Mazen Namdekanu IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and pull the Fulani Janjaweed to shame. He say The Fulani terrorist, National Security Advisor, Baba Gana Mongunu, and other terrorist members of the imposter Buharist regime cries that Buharist travels around the globe have yielded no positive result for the Fulani agendas as he's been bashed left, right, and center by world leaders. Now the world leaders are warning the Fulani Nigerian government to quickly organize a UN supervised Biafran referendum. And they have concluded plans with the International Criminal Court to arrest members of the Fulani Nigerian government terrorizing Nigerians and Biafrans. My brothers and my sisters, even the Fulani lapdog, Femi Adesino, is trying to exonerate himself by crying out loud that he's not involved in the terrorism going on in Nigeria. But he's just an errand boy to the Fulani presidency cabal. And he was claiming and he was telling the world the truth that insecurity is actually in Nigeria. It has grown from the level they met it to what is obtainable right now. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that if fools, all the saboteurs are crying. They are crying. Because the world leaders are now supporting Biafrans. They are supporting IPOB. They are supporting Biafran referendum. Very soon, Biafrans will smile. Biafrans will smile. They will have reasons to smile. Because the world leaders have now focused on the atrocities of the Fulani Janjaweed and they want to bring them to book. According to report, the National Security Advisor, Major General Baba Gana Mongunu retired, a Fulani Janjaweed, has said that the separatist agitations in some part of the West African region were gaining global attention due to international sympathy. Mongunu stated this in a paper he presented at the Nigerian International Partnership Forum in Paris, France, where he tried to deceive the world leaders. Mongunu lied that Nigerian contemporary security problems are influenced or heightened by external threat factors in the global environment, instead of telling the world the truth that the Fulani Nigerian government are the one who brought in all the Fulani terrorists from the Sahel to start causing problems in their bid to overrun and take the ancestral land of indigenous Nigerian tribes. According to Mongunu, he said, therefore the Fulani Nigerian government is exploring the feasibility of setting up a border security force with rogue West African neighbors in foreseeable future to ensure Nigerian border areas are secured. You know, they closed the borders in the south, but they opened the border in the north for the Fulani terrorists to come in. Mongunu added, the activities of IPOB in Nigeria, as well as the activities of Ambazonian separatists in Cameroon, have attracted international sympathy. Mongunu lied that it should, however, be noted that the Nigerian Fulani government have never prevented freedom of expression or agitation. So why did they kidnap our leader illegally? 
Why do they? Why are they chasing Sunday Boho everywhere and forcing the Bene Republic government to incarcerate him? Why? Why are they handing over Cameroonian freedom fighters to the terrorist Cameroonian government? They are liars. However, according to Mongunu, he said the violent confrontation and engagement of security forces by this group usually translate into fatalities and other grave consequences. Mongunu said that while they continue to extend dialogue as the main medium for resolving conflicts in the country, the only people they did dialogue with is the Fulani terrorists and the Fulani terrorists Boko Haram and Islamic State. The Fulani Nigerian government, according to Mongunu, will continue to discharge its responsibility of ensuring the safety of lives and properties against anyone, especially by the freedom fighters and not the Fulani killer headsmen. You can see the lies the Fulani Nigerian government are churning out to the international community but their lies have been busted because everyone now knows the truth. They know that the Fulani Nigerian government are the real terrorists. And they are now running everywhere looking for people to help them. But they have failed because everyone now knows. The international community now knows that the Fulani Janjaweed are the problem. Also, IPOB on Friday threatened to shut down the zoo called Nigeria over what is described as the bias handling of the trial of our leader Onyen Domaz and Namdekano by the Fulani Nigerian government. IPOB which condemned the way some of Maz and Namdekano's legal team were denied entry into the courtroom by personnel of the criminal DSS at the resumption of the trial on Wednesday alleged that the judiciary was being used to keep Mazen Namdekano in detention perpetually with a trial. IPOB Director of Media and Publicity, Ima Powerful, in a statement titled, IPOB will cripple Nigeria if the Fulani Nigerian government think it can Use Justice Binta Yanko to keep our leader, Mazen Namdekano, in perpetual detention without trial. According to IPOB, they said whether the Fulani Nigerian government likes it or not, it remains committed to the actualization of Biafra. IPOB said that the long adjournments and what seems like open bias and doing the bidding of the criminal DSS has eroded the confidence of the accused in the neutrality of the judge handling the case. Justice Binta Yanko has given all Biafrans sufficient reasons and grounds to doubt her ability to give justice and fair hearing to our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, considering the manner Justice Binta Yanko has been going about this case. You know, she's a Fulani Janjaweed. She's doing the bidding of the Fulani, but her cup is full. They will all pay for the atrocities. Every atrocities the Fulani Janjaweed have committed against their friends, they will never go unpunished. Now that the international community are now aware of all the lies and deception of the Fulani Nigerian government. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.